Now the question has been asked, who is Gog and what is Magog? Gog is a man and Magog is his kingdom. And we know that this is Russia because the Bible very clearly says in the 15th verse of the 38th chapter, then you will come from your place out of the far north you and many peoples with you, all of them riding on horses, a great company and a mighty army, and you will come up, come up against my people, Israel, like a cloud to cover the land. It will be in the last days. That's right now. What you are seeing happening on the television screen is the Russian bear coming back to life, wanting to be a global superpower, it's going to take all of the nations it can with them, and there will be, at some point in the future, a land invasion led by the Russians. What does the Bible say about Israel and, and Russia? Well, it's very interesting that probably the main prophecy is Ezekiel 38, 39, uh, what's known as the War of Gog and Magog. A Russian dictator rises in what's called Magog, teams up with Persia, what we know as Iran. Now, people have asked me, you know, do you think Vladimir Putin is this evil dictator Gog of which the Bible speaks. It's too early to yeah. make a conclusion like mm -hmm. that. Is, is Putin Gog-esque? Yes, I think that is a fair statement. He is a dictator. He is rising. He is building a, an alliance with Iran. Putin is selling uh, arms to Iran. He's selling nuclear technology to Iran. Mm -hmm. He's defending Iran at the UN uh, amidst this whole scenario. Let's start with Ezekiel 38 verses 1 and 2. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, Meshech, Tubal, all cities in the nation of Rosh. And that's for C in the Greek and Russia in English. And it's the war, get this, of the latter years and latter days. Nothing that happened thousands of years ago, but the final war for the end time. That's verses 8 and 16. Now, first of all, Gog, he is the leader, and that could be Putin because it says Gog, the prince of these cities, Meshach, Tubal, etc., as he's called the prince in the article today. But do you know that the Caucasus Mountains in Russia mean Fort of Gog, Gog's last stand? And the next name you see there is... Magog. What could that mean? The Scythians are given a credit for populating Russia, and the Greeks call them the Magogites. Next name is Meshach. That was the earliest name which became Mosach, Moskati, Moscow today. And all cities in Rosh, the nation of Russia. Tobolsk there. Oh, this is something. Remember when Gary Powers, the U-2 pilot, was shot down? He was shot down in Tubal, Tobolsk in Russia, because it's the Russian suffix SK added to it. How true and accurate this Bible is.